This article is coming from businessinsiders.com, short seller who predicted FTX, Silvergate, capital collapses, and shorted CVP Financial has new banking target, a worldwide money laundering story. The short seller who famously predicted the collapse of FTX and Silvergate Capital Corporation has more stocks to call out and warn investors about. Cohodes has issued warnings to investors about FTX and Silvergate before both companies saw evaluation collapse. Cohodes said he warned people about FTX. Some of these people listened and others who did not got completely destroyed, he said. Cohodes says Signature, the next bank to fail, along with his warning investors about Silvergate. Cohodes had a stern warning for investors regarding Signature Bank, and we saw what happened with Signature Bank. Cohodes also added that SVB Financial was a sore subject with him as he was short the stock last year but covered to go deep in his short position in Carvana. And we've seen what happened with Carvana. Now, one stock that he doesn't talk about in this article is um, Helen of Troy. And I don't even know what they do. But I was watching a video on YouTube and he mentioned that um, their accounting is really bad, how the CFO uh, recently quit and that their numbers are very overstated and he th expects price to decline. So I wanted to uh, look at Helen of, of Troy. Again, I have no idea what they do. <laughs> But I'm going to look at the charts anyway, right? Um, all right, so back in January 21, January 22, stock did a double top, which is bearish. This is the monthly chart. And since then, price has been in a steady decline. This was a nice area to short here. You see this wick monthly wick came into supply. There were sellers there. Price collapsed. Now price is currently testing the lows of this range here, which we will mark up. And there is a lot of trading to the left. So because of all of this trading to the left, I don't anticipate price just collapsing like it did in previous months. The reason why it collapsed like this was because there was really nothing to stop price. See these green extended range candles? There was really nothing to stop price from declining. However, all this mess to the left of current price, I don't expect this next candle, which would be April, just to be a red extended range candle. However, my eyes are gravitating to this level here at 60, uh, but also at uh, this area right here. You have a, a rally in price. You have a basing and then another rally. Right, so that's about 75 and 60. So let's go down to the weekly chart. And you can see how price moved higher but then broke the trend line that was beautiful this must have been on no it wasn't on earnings I'm not sure what news triggered this collapse in price but that was a beautiful trade setup all right um, so set 75 and uh, 60 so let's see what that's looking like on the uh, weekly chart. 75 is right below this mess here at 78. All right, let's see what we got. So nothing special, too much trading to the left. I do like this rally out, but um, price structure I don't like. I said 75 though, so 75 is here. Uh, you know, not in love with the price structure. These wicks here imply that there's buyers below, 
All right, so we do have a gap in price on earnings. Okay, so this is, I said 60. All right, I'm gonna mark this gap fill at 67. Oh, this is the daily chart, okay. Let's go to the weekly chart. I apologize for that. Okay. But same thing on the weekly. You can see how price uh, broke the short-term uptrend line. All right, so current price is at 89.5. Okay, price is here. Okay, so I think I was looking at 75. I like the strong move higher, but then we don't have a strong move higher after the basing. Like, f as an example, this candle here. All right, we had a strong move higher. Price did kind of trickle down and then you had to move higher. And when price eventually came down, tested it, and then went higher, All right? And the volume was decent. All right, so I have mentioned right here where there was a gap fill. It's also where previous resistance was. So this, this looks like a nice level. Uh, if price is going to continue to decline to get to next. Let's just uh, back up to the... Uh, however, before price, if price continues to move down, it must c close below these wicks here, which is buying pressure. So we'll uh, make that green. Okay, so if this week or next sub subsequent weeks, price closes on the weekly chart below 84, then anticipate price moving down to 68. Reason being, there's really nothing to stop price. This is all just sideways trading. You might get a reaction at 76, so we'll mark that as well at 76. Um, but I don't anticipate price holding until... Uh, much further below current price. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.